There are many different variations of graphs. One common variation is what's called a die graph or directed graph. This is a graph where those edges, the lines that connected things, will have arrows on them. So for example, we're gonna draw a nice simple one. V1, V2, V3, and V4. And when I draw the edges between them, I'm going to draw them with directionality. So I can go from V1 to V2, but not necessarily both directions. You can have edges which go both directions. So I could go from V2 to V4 and potentially also go back. And you can even have edges which go start at one vertex and go back to the same vertex. So let's fill in maybe a couple more of these. You can go from V2 to V3, V3 to V1, and from V3 to V4. So we have some edges. Those edges have directionality now. It is a directed graph. You can modify all of our definitions if you cared to write them out explicitly. Incident to, incident from, in degree, out degree. In degree and out degree are interesting enough that we're going to comment on them. The in degree is the number of edges which point into a vertex. So for V1 here, for example, the in degree is one because there's one arrow pointing into it. The out degree of V1 is also one because there's one arrow leaving it. For V2 here, it has in degree two because there's two arrows that point into it and out degree two because there's two arrows that point out of it. By contrast, V4 has two arrows pointing in and one arrow pointing out, therefore has in degree of two and out degree of one. For our last one, you could see that there's maybe a little bit of an issue with V3 because there's an arrow that leaves and points back to it. That would count for both the in degree and out degree. So there's one arrow pointing in that comes from another vertex, one arrow pointing out that goes to another vertex, and one arrow which points back to V3, so it has in degree and out degree of two as well. And incident to and incident from are exactly what you might expect. The edge here that goes V3 to V1 is incident from V3 and incident to V1. I'm not as interested as some other people might be in the exactness of these definitions, mostly because they are intuitively simple enough and we aren't going to be doing complicated enough proofs that we need to fiddle through the exact rigor of what these definitions are. You can just remember that they work the way you probably expect. Directed graphs show up in a lot of applications though. So one place directed graphs show up is if you're trying to just do some like navigate a city, there are certain streets which are only one way streets. If you're trying to represent states, for some machine learning problems, you can also talk about this, where you can only go from one state to another state. You can't go both directions. And this is a common thing you need to adjust. Similarly, there's stuff, stuff called Markov chains, which are a way of representing states of existence and probabilities of transitioning between those states. In that model, you also have arrows that have directionality, and it's critically important that they have directionality in such a problem. We will both use directed graphs and undirected graphs because we're working with some generality here. However, directed graphs are sort of a special case that we will specifically call out. In general, we're going to assume things are what are called simple graphs. And if we scroll down, we notice that we have something called a simple graph here. A simple graph, it has no directionality, no self loops, and there's at most one edge. So no directionality means that you can't have arrows. So that's banned. No self loops means you can't have edges which connect a vertex to a vertex, that is banned. And no multiple edges between uh, vertices means you can't have two different edges between two vertices, that is also banned. The reason we say simple graph is these turn out to be what shows up most often and they have the nicest properties. So a lot of the stuff we'll talk about, a lot of the theorems and ideas will pertain to only simple graphs. In fact, if we don't expl explicitly say so, we will assume a graph is a simple graph. So going forward, this is our default assumption, although we will deal with directed graphs and we will deal with some graphs which have self loops as well.